We are so excited to have Kelly Oliver here, a longtime friend, a very powerful broker, and a very illustrious career. Kelly, welcome to our family. If you don't mind kind of sharing with our audience today more about your journey into what you've done before and how did you get into commercial real estate? Sure. So the way that I got started was a compl completely different path, uh, probably a more familiar path with most people who worked for corporate America for 15 years. My background is computer information systems. I have a master's degree and I'm a cybersecurity expert. But you know, after you do that 20 years in the, in the corporate America, you go, I want something different. So about 15 years ago, I stepped away and said I wanted to step into commercial real estate. I had already had a love for real estate and I've been doing real estate and uh, investing for a long period of time. And so I stepped into commercial real estate and I have never looked back. It is so much fun um, just doing the deals and certainly about this next year that's going to be coming up. I'm sure we'll touch on that a little bit. Um, but just the services that we can provide and the things that we can do for people to help them with their real estate and their investing questions that it is that they have, that's what we're here to do. So it's I not only stepped into commercial real estate, that also led me into buying and selling businesses. And I have owned a chocolate factory in my past. <laughs> so best time to have the keys to the kingdom is right about midnight. <laughs> so um, it's been a fun adventure and a fun journey. And I can't wait to really step in and get excited about EXP and what you all are doing on your side as well. Yes. And, and Kelly, we're so excited to have you here. You know, when I met you in San Antonio at the event, I thought we have to have her. So super elated and super, so excited about 2024 and the fact that you're with us and, and everything that you can bring to eXp Commercial is so exciting. So with that being said, having been in the business for a while and knowing that this, this year coming is going to be a little bit different, Talk to, you know, a little bit of your experience and, and maybe let some of the newer agents know what to possibly expect in this uh, in, in 2024 rolling into 2025. Sure. So, you know, everything is my opinion and it's just based on my background and experience and what I call boots on the ground. So boots on the ground is I, you can watch TV all day long. You know that that's already, you know, two weeks to 30 days old. If you see something on the news or if you're an avid social media watcher, you might get a little more current information. But the really the way that you get the information is boots on the ground when you are at the salon or when you are um, at the dog park or you're like you're just talking to friends and their business owners and you're finding out what's going on with them, then that's really your indication of what's happening in the marketplace. And I talk to everybody I possibly can. And I'll pick up the phone and call them if I haven't talked to them in a while, just to check in and see what's going on with them, because that's all feedback that I use. So my background and experience is telling me that this year is going to be a very tough year in commercial real estate. It's probably no surprise to anyone. <laughs> And um, as we step into what could be a very a second difficult year, I know commercial real estate was difficult last year. Banking is, I think, going to have a tough time this year funding transactions. That's going to have investors looking to alternative lenders in order to uh, get any of their deals funded. And some of them are going to find themselves into some shocking situations. Um, I've already gotten started getting phone calls this year from um, business owners who got the notice from the bank that said that their property was in foreclosure and they're, how can that be? I've been making my payments. I, you know, I don't, I shouldn't be in foreclosure. Well, it's a technical foreclosure and that means the bank doesn't want your loan anymore. So we've got to work really hard for those clients to help them navigate those situations and be a different voice than maybe their attorneys or their CPAs, um, because we do have, I mean, as commercial real estate agents and brokers, we have special knowledge that those two other groups don't have, because we understand the commercial real estate industry and that business, unlike the attorneys or the, the CPAs that they, they might be working with. So I would suggest that any of the new clients are 
new agents that are coming to the table, if they take a look at what kind of services can they start providing to people, um, because the investors are going to have different they're going to find themselves in different situations and not know how to navigate them. That's where we can bring them into our family and say, this is how you navigate this. Or we can offer different options, maybe of things that other clients have done, some brainstorm ideas of how other clients have handled their situation so that they can be inspired about how to navigate their tough situation as well. You know, Kelly, we've been around, we always know it's a cycle and not everyone, right, has been through a couple of cycles, but when you have, we see there's always opportunities, right? And the way EXP commercial was structured, as you saw, were corporate, not franchise, were publicly traded. And by adding so many smart leaders, people that have been around a couple of times, sharing notes, right, collaborating, cooperating. I mean, you already had that experience already. I mean, can you share just the small time you were over here and when you even weren't, we were already collaborating with so many. Can you share the collaborative yeah. nature and how this is gonna help you and your business and help your clients? Absolutely. So that's exactly, we want to, you know, we talked about this just a little bit before we jumped on, you know, what we can offer, what I can, what I really want to bring to the table is the bridge. How do we bridge different clients or processes or, um, just how to navigate doing the right thing for people so that they can get the goals and the, the financial goals that they want to achieve, right? It's not an easy thing to do in these difficult times, but if you talk to some people, they'll tell you this was, you know, like you look back at 2008, that was the best time they ever had. It was the most money they ever made because they were in the right spot at the right time. They delivered the right service. And so that's what we want to be able to do is be a bridge to those clients, to the banks, to the customers, to the agents, like everyone that it is involved so that we can help everyone move to their financial goals. You know, and it's, 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 Brokers like yourself and, you know, also, you know, one of the things that that I always like to talk about is just women in this industry, right? This is, this is so powerful to have you being somebody who is so knowledgeable, you know, a broker that, that also understands business brokering, you know, business brokering, what I've learned just since being at, at EXP commercial is it's a whole different ball game from just commercial transactions in general, which is then even a whole different ball game from residential transactions. So, you know, um, talk about what actually got you into the business brokering world that you're in and how did you, how did you decide, okay, this is what I would rather do. And this is what I want to specialize in because you're really good at it. And I think that this is something that is good for people to understand and, and know that it, you know, it's, it just takes some time, but there's a lot of benefit to it. There is, there really is. It was, you know, for me, it was just a natural progression because I had spent so much time in, uh, in business and, you know, my background, my education had already led me to be that. Um, and then in the buying and selling businesses adventure, um, my next natural step was to buy a business that was in finance. So we do lending also as a part of the suite of services that we provide um, through a, our group. Um, so if there's projects that come to the table um, or if there's a business that comes to the table and says, I have a business I want to sell, I have real estate that goes along with it. And oh, by the way, if you could provide financing to the buyer, that would be awesome. I mean, that really is the super trifecta when you have knowledge about how all of those things work together and interplay. That is the best advice that you can give to the clients on how they handle that transaction, both from a a money standpoint, a value standpoint, and also from a tax benefit standpoint as well. You know, Kelly, and like again, we're so happy you're here. What made you have the interest? Because you had a very successful career with your own firm doing massive projects already. And, and you had your business for a very long time to say, why make the move, right? When Kelly Oliver, super successful, internationally well-known, <laughs> what made you come over? I came over because of the people. 
right? When I think we hit it off right at the beginning, when we first met, uh, I, and I'm going to be honest with you and tell you at the beginning, I was a thank you, but no, I've got my own thing going on. <laughs> and they're like, no, but you should look at this and you should look at that. And then when I started to really understand how much more I can get done, how many more people I can serve through this platform, it was a, a decision made itself. I didn't even have to make that decision. Um, it was, you're, you're already, uh, 89,000, 90,000 agents. You've got strong um, backing and professionalism. I vetted the company to make sure the company was strong and what it was doing. It's international. I mean, it is all the things that it is that I have been doing from a boutique perspective and said, oh, wait, if I can step into this larger platform, how much more can I offer and give and, and help more people? Just get to where it is that they need to go. And I, I know that this is going to be a very difficult year and it's going to take a, a neighborhood of people to navigate through this very difficult time. Yeah. And, you know, Kelly, that's something that that we always like to tell people and for them to truly understand is that the reach that you have here at EXP, whether you're at EXP Realty or EXP Commercial, we have one system that is used to be able to talk to anybody around the world, you know, and it's it's something that that we hear and we get a lot of feedback from a lot of our, our commercial advisors that will tell us, you know, I get four to six leads a week or per day or, you know, whatever it may be just by being active on Workplace, which is one of the systems that we offer. And so mm -hmm. I can see with your experience, with your background, how much you're going to kill it once you get yourself on there and you're able to you know be known and be seen it's one of our greatest lead generating tools and it's really just it's communicating with all of the exp family around the world so super excited for you to get plugged into that and to really start working that i i, I hope that we can have you back here you know six months a year from now for you to be able, be able to talk about what that journey has looked like and how plugging into a lot of our systems you know, you've been with us for just a little while now, you know, tell everybody what it's what it's like once you join and, and how how easy it is to start navigating all of these different systems and tools we offer. Well, it's so funny um, that you mentioned that because I, I I know that it's been a while for me to get to a place where I could move everything over. Um, so it's taken a little bit of time. So a lot of people did know that I was coming. But when I finally released the information to said, OK, I've, I've come over, I've joined like it was almost immediate. I started getting calls and um, emails from different people. Uh, workplace has been fantastic. It's a great way to jump into. There's so much information that's there, but it it does help get you up to speed pretty quickly as to what's going on and and what's what and who's where and those kinds of things. But um, but it it has created. Uh, I haven't even announced anything publicly. This was all private announcements, and I have gotten I. I must have like two or three, maybe four different deals that are already coming to the table and saying, yeah, we, we need you to do this transaction for us or with us. And so I'm like, yes, <laughs> bring it, let's go. We're going to make it happen. You know, Kelly, and, and see, just seeing this with your deals, what are you going to build? Because I know you're already plugged in and I know what kind of projects, but how much bigger... <laughs> not just you by yourself with the network, but building your team, not just in Florida, not just in Cal uh, in, in US, but internationally. What is your vision and plan? Because I know you think really big and I love that. What is your plans to build on this platform in 24 different countries with 90,000 agents and your impact and relationships? Well, the benefit of all of that is, is that I get to bring the network of everyone that it is that I have to the table, to this table and this conversation. Um, so it is a way for me to be able to unify 
those relationships I have with other people in other countries, not only here domestically, but internationally, because you know that I do work in several different countries and, and bring them on board with an opportunity that those people never thought would ever happen to them. And so, you know, just bringing that to the table and, um, and, and offering them to be a bigger team, like this is what I learned, right? You can do more through and with other people than you can do on your own. So when you're an independent, you can get a lot done, but when you can join a team of people, the it's exponential, right? The amount that it is that you can deliver is exponential. And so more people have referrals, more people talk to more people, the more success that you have, the more people become interested and then they want to come in. It is the cycle that, it's the cycle of life. It's a cycle of the business life that it is that we have. So, um, so yeah, I'm thinking pretty big. As you should, right? As you should. And and this is the best platform to do that. This is the best brokerage to be able to think so big, you know, and so we're super excited to be able to see you continue on this journey and everything that you have to offer all of us, you know, all of our agents, all of the, the, the advisors, the staff, the brokers, you name it. You've got so much information and so much knowledge that we're just so elated to have you here with us. Jim, any final words? Yeah, no, I just say what Kelly, she brought it up. It's the people, the company, mm -hmm. the tech, all great stuff. You get great people together. You get collaborative people. You get people that want to work and support and help and not just take, right, but give. And I yeah. think Kelly was very, very careful, due diligence. She has a reputation to watch <laughs> and make sure this was the right platform with the right people to work with. So I just want to say, Thank you, Kelly, for choosing us, for partnering with us. And maybe your last final words that you'd like to say, anyone that may be sitting, watching, waiting, you know, about what they should do, especially, like you said, a hard year. And who knows, we may have a couple of them coming up. My, uh, my parting words are, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so thrilled that I was able to navigate everything, move it over, get started, um, and and just really hit the ground running. And so if there's anyone that has any questions about a commercial real estate transaction, a business brokerage transaction, or funding or financing for their transactions, or even if they have a client that they know that they are concerned for, and they're looking for some outside perspective, um, have them give me a call or get them on the phone and give me a call. I want to be able to talk to as many people as I can. I am an out of the box thinker, which you probably already know, Jim <laughs> and Lindsay. <laughs> so um, we get really creative on how to solve some of the challenges that people are just facing that they didn't know. Um, they don't know how to get out of their situation. And then we turn around, we make it a win, win, win for everyone so that um, everyone walks away. We get a successful customer and they come back and bring more business. That's all we all want. Kelly, thank you. It's a pleasure. We're looking forward to a long journey and history together with everyone and all our family. And thank you all that showed up and listened and shared EXP Commercial Explained. We love to always share and have great people on here so you get to hear their story, their vision, why they chose EXP, EXP Commercial. So we just want to say everyone have a great day and thank you for joining us with this week's EXP Commercial Explained.